Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where I take you inside of my classroom treatment room with some of my students. So hope you enjoy. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. As you guys can see, I am draping his hair because it is longer and we wanna make sure that we do not get any products on his hair. Today, the purpose of this treatment, I'm going to call it a deep pore cleansing facial. That's what I'm gonna call it, okay? So as you guys can see, I have my lineup. I will be showing and I am recording it, so hopefully you guys can go back and watch this later. I'm not going to be using any steam, okay? But I do have a lot of barber towels here um, in our towel warmer, okay? So just like any facial, I'm going to start off by simply doing my first cleanse. I am using the Glymet Plus Gentle Facial Wash. This is what it looks like. You guys have seen me use this product before and know it is one of my favorites. Okay. You can close your eyes, sir. You're fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hands down and I'm starting. Well, he says he's never had a facial before, so it is okay to be a little bit nervous and not know what to expect. Um, so I will be, I told him I will kind of walk, walk him uh, through what I'm doing. This cleanser provides exfoliation benefits and is gentle enough to use on sensitive skin. Remember that when working with male clients who have facial hair, you're moving downward in the direction of the hair growth. Come right in there. Very simple, very repetitive. You guys remember that if you need to grab more product, um, always keep one hand on your client's face. The purpose of this demo was to show those in attendance how the Oxygen Deep Pore Cleanser from Glymed Plus worked. And this gentleman who is actually a barber student was kind enough to be our model. It was his first time getting a facial ever and he was very excited. can be applied on dry or damp skin. Obviously his skin is more damp, but just know that it can be applied on dry, dry skin, okay? Next I am going to put my gloves on, you guys. I'm going to put my gloves on. Now he might be a little red after this treatment just because first of all, it's his first time. And we are doing a lot of um, manipulations of the skin so we're bringing all that blood to the surface so being a little red I was actually a little red myself and it went away probably after an hour and here it is the oxygen deep pore cleanser now I'm going to dispense the product on the back of my hand whenever you guys online you guys see how fluffy it gets they use a lot of product so I'm going to start on the forehead and I'm going to leave it on for about, well, about seven minutes. This cleanser works like a deep cleaning mask, triggering a deep disincrustation process to thoroughly cleanse and purify congested pores which is why I called it the Deep Pore Cleansing Facial. It's going to stimulate healthy cell turnover and reveal smoother and more radiant skin. Now, this is perfect for combination oily, dry, and normal skin. It's definitely a product I recommend that you try and see if you like it. Where he probably has, overall his skin as well, he does have some congestion and just lack of doing, you know, any, any treatments. This is his first time ever getting a facial. Okay. Looking at the clock. 
kept it on his skin for about 7 minutes. So we're gonna let that sit, you guys. At this point, when you see me kind of touching his forehead, I started to notice some redness. You okay? Any burning or anything like that? Mm -hmm. It's burning? Mm -hmm. Right here? Or all over? Just right there. Really? Mm -hmm. It is a little red, I can tell. Now what I have for the removal, um, I'm going to use this little spatula Ooh. Just kind of scrape some of this off You guys, this is a perfect example of why I always say to always ask your clients if they're doing okay. You do not want them to sit through a treatment if they are experiencing any type of irritation or burning. I started to notice that his forehead was getting red, so therefore I asked and he did confirm to me that it was burning, so therefore I went forward to removing it. If clients start to experience some sort of irritation in the treatment room, it does make you change your protocol and the plans that you had moving forward. So in this case, I had to choose other type of products to help soothe his skin. Since he's pretty red, I am going to wait for this to cool off a little bit more. polishing method is what I call it. I know you are noticing how red his skin is at the moment, but you have to wait until the end of this video and you're going to be amazed at how his skin looked. Having soothing products that are able to calm your client's skin in times like this when irritation or redness happen is very important. Jam, that's your job. She always goes and gets me the cold roller for all everybody. Since it's his first time, this might be kind of like everything that I have maybe a little too strong for him as far as like the whole protocol. So are you okay? Mm -hmm. Burning still? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Please let me know, okay? Ultrasonic spatula, the skin does have to be damp. It has to be wet, okay? So perhaps using it during that first cleansing with the steamer would be ideal or just simply grabbing water like I did in a little dish with your brush and wetting the skin some, okay? Close your eyes, sir. So this is just water, it's nothing too fancy, okay? Adding a little bit of water, add some here just to kind of cool him off. Now, I want you guys to look at something. Now this vibrates, you guys. This can vibrate up to like 28,000 28, times per second. So for the use of this, you guys, especially for the nose, you want to go and hold the skin, especially like the tip of the nose, and push it. I love using it like here on the sides downward. Okay. So always try to have a tissue next to me. 
As you guys can see, I am using the Ultrasonic Skin Scrubber. And what it's doing, it is gently exfoliating the skin. You guys, the Ultrasonic Waves, what it does, it helps to loosen and remove the oil, dirt, and debris from the pores, making extractions a lot easier. When you use the spatula like this, flat, is for better product penetration. So maybe your serums, you can do this, your moisturizer. For the most part, when it comes to the exfoliating, the cleansing, okay, again, his skin is very red and very sensitive, you will do this, okay? But again, for him right now, I believe his nose was the perfect, um, the perfect area. Okay. Also, be be to be mindful of the amount of pressure. Okay. His redness is slowly going down. <laughs> you can also turn it around. <laughs> Okay. You guys have no idea how many times we have used this cold roller. It definitely comes in handy and you guys know that it really helps to soothe the skin when there is a lot of redness. I'm doing you guys the seaweed mask from Skin Scrub. Okay. Seaweed mask. So I decided to go with the Skin Scripts Seaweed Mask because it provides lipids, proteins, minerals, and vitamins which moisturize and nourish all skin types and also contains chamomile for calming the skin after any treatment. And again, as you guys can see, his skin is a little red. So at this point, we were just trying to help it by calming it and soothing it. I will be applying a second mask, which you guys will see here in just a second. Because the seaweed mask is not a setting mask, I was able to apply it over his facial hair without a problem and it would not be hard to remove. Is anything itchy? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Here, I was making sure that the towels were not too hot to go over his face. So as a class, we decided to go ahead and use a rubber mask, which is from SD Skin. I will be using the vitamin C mask. The students really wanted to see the application and also have the application on video so that they're able to go back and rewatch if needed. So here it is. You okay? Okay, this is already going, going down. down. All right. All right, you guys. So this, I'm going to pour it over your eyes oh. and over your mouth. Okay? And not on your nose so you still can breathe. So just keep calm. This part was very funny in person. He really did not know what to expect. All right. So you guys know I like to start on the forehead. Okay? and kind of work myself around the hairline. Everyone has their own method or technique of applying this mask. I know a lot of SDs pour the entire thing just on the middle of the client's face and then just kind of spread it from there. Like I just mentioned, I like to start on the forehead and work myself around. If you are working with someone who perhaps has lash extensions and would still like to use this mask, you're always welcome to apply wet cotton rounds on the eyes and just work yourself around it. Also, maybe just graduating your clients to applying it over the lips and over the eyes. But to start off, maybe you can just apply it like a typical mask to get your clients comfortable to this application.
Again, for the purpose of the video, we went ahead and did it all over, of course, excluding his nose so that he was able to breathe. Again, the mask that I am using is a thermal rubber mask from SD Skin. There are other brands on the market like SD Max, Avery Rose. There's several others, you guys. If you're interested in trying them out, do a little research and find out which one may work best for you. It's like the perfect measurement, you guys. If someone is claustrophobic, maybe this is not for them. Um, I think this would definitely help soothe the face. Okay. You can still perform an arm and hand massage. Look how nice and thick that's what you want to mm -hmm. see. Once you have a spread, stop messing with it because then what you're doing is you're kind of like removing it. Oh, okay. So just kind of lay it and you're using this spatula very flat. So you're not using it like this because then you'll just scrape it so very very flat again like you're icing a cake for those that didn't catch that again what i said is you're using the spatula nice and flat like you are icing a cake all right you guys so to remove what i usually do is i try to start to loosen up the edges How amazing. I'm gonna use a towel just to soften this here, okay? I'm not going to apply or like do heavy removing because I want all those ingredients that that mask has, which is vitamin C, which is for brightening. Um, I really want to stay. So when I come in to remove uh, any leftover like residue, I just hit those specific areas with the warm towel. I like to do little circular motions. Next, I use the Professional CBD B3 Facial Mist from Glymed. It has vitamin B3 that is known to soothe irritation, reduce the appearance of redness, and improve the overall appearance of skin tone. I am finishing it off by applying the Ultra Hydro Gel from Glymed Plus along with some SPF. This Ultra Hydro Gel contains 10% hyaluronic acid. It is a very light formula that melted into his skin very nicely. Alright, sir. Looking good. Not red at all. Period. <laughs> all right, sir. You are all done. We're and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to share, like, and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I hope you guys enjoyed stepping into my treatment room with some of my students. It was a lot of fun. Thank you again. Don't forget to keep going, keep growing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.